Are you teeing the ball up the wrong height? Come on, with me. Let's dive into this. Right golf mates, I've been meaning to do this video for a long time. Now, at first I was thinking it's a silly video. Everyone knows the tee the ball down low. But do they? I mean, I've, say two or three months I've had this video in my head. There's none on the internet, so I thought, well, why is it not? Is it just a stupid task? But it's not, so I've watched purposely in a lot of tees. What other amateurs who play with me, how high they have the tees. And they all have different heights. A lot of people have it high, which... I think it's crazy, but there's different reasons for that, and hopefully this video can get into the reasons. Right, if you're new to the channel, and you're wondering what golf mates are, this channel has no subscribers. Everyone who comments and interacts is a golf mate. Subscribers, we don't like the word, we don't use it on this channel. We're all here for a fun and a laugh. Right, this video, let's, I'm gonna ask opinions first, before I get into it, of different golfers, how high do they tee their ball up? Right, golf mates, have found somebody on Charlton Kamadi, I know this man personally, I've been on holiday loads of times, just retired, so he's playing a lot more golf. This is Jerry McGrath. Good morning, everybody. Sun's shining in Charlton. Jerry, question is, how high do you tee up your irons on par threes? I use a little red castle tee. Have you got one? I've got one here. Yeah. Tell me the reason. Well, it's, the one, it's what I'm comfortable with. You know, I've tried different, here we go. Uh, different uh, tees. Uh, this one gets me at the right level, where occasionally I can hit a decent shot. Right, so you, you don't have it that quite low to the ground then, do you? No. Would you say, are you a picker of the golf ball, or do you take a divot? No, I'm a picker, I don't take divots. Very Is that rare. why you have it teed up a bit higher then? Yes. It's like, for me, before I do this video, I have it dead low, no. because I take a divot. Uh, I never take a divot, and if I do, it uh, ends up as a horrendous shot. So if you, because you're a picker of the ball, you tee the ball a bit higher? Oh, if that's what you call me, a picker, I am a picker. A clean yeah. picker. Yeah. You like that, don't you? <laughs> right, Jerry, thanks Hi. very much, Cocker. Thank you, Liam. Nice to see you. Enjoy the So that was Jerry there. Now, it's amazing about the opinions. Now, I take a divot after the ball normally, so that means I must be coming down steep or what. I don't know on that, but I have my tee low for that reason. But other golfers have it different, like Jerry though. Jerry plays off... 18 I think and he tees up very high I could not do that could not but now before we get in proper to the video stop think of your three ball and four ball your players you play with all different varies of handicap how high do they tee it up on a par three with the irons because I think if you're a clipper you know if you take your ball clean you want to tee your ball up a little bit higher but if you're not teeing it up high your club your ball's hitting high in the face isn't it so if it's hitting high in the face, you're like promoting not a solid strike. It's like, you know, if I'm going to give you a whack full, you don't want me to hit you just here. You just want me to hit you there. That kind of drift, if you get me. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to ask a few more, then I'm going to take a lot of shots with different TI and see what they do for me. Right, I am with the lovely Jerry here. Jerry has been a member at Charlton how long? 32 many years. That's not bad considering you're 43, so Thank you started you. young. Jerry is a hashtag player. She's got down in the past to 4.5. Absolutely. Right, the moral of this video, tee height your irons on par threes. I'm just seeing different amateurs have them all different lengths, and I'm just thinking, hopefully this video can help these amateurs get the right tee length, what could help them? Right, well, on par threes, I would normally have my tee peg almost level with the ground. Just sitting down low. Just sitting down low, and then hit, generally, hit behind the ball. So you let the ball first, first, then the club will let the ground. Yes. Right. That's similar to me, that. But it. I uh, have it low. If I have it high, I won't feel comfortable. No. I, if I have it high, I get too much height on the ball, lose distance. Do you? So yes. it's like hitting it high in the face, so yeah. it's, it's a bit weak. It seems to come up underneath. You it. play with a lot of lady members, don't you? I'm mixed. Yes. Yeah. Have you seen? Do you see a different variety of tees? Yes. On this, because we just had Jerry there, a lot, another Jerry. <laughs> He has a red castle tee, dead eye, I could yeah. never have that. No, I think I think a lot of ladies do tend to tee it up higher. Is that um, because they're sweeping the ball, maybe? I don't know, I think they feel more comfortable with it. 
Right, okay. I think it's more of a comfort thing that you find you're not having to hit hit down into the ball. You can hit underneath it and get it up. And I think that's the reason. So would you say, moral of the story, different swing types should tee it up. Like if you're hitting the ball after, have it low. If you're a sweeper, have it a bit higher. A bit higher. I would say possibly higher handicappers would find it easier to, to have the ball slightly higher. Right. Perhaps, you know, particularly the you know the men that hit it hard and low and, and you know, low teeth. This is coming from a player, so Jerry, thanks very much for your time, sweetheart. <laughs> Pleasure. Got to get a kiss in. <laughs> right, first test here, three balls. Tall, medium, short. Basically the tee length. That's how I would always have my tee shots on a par three. So we've got 126 yards, going to be a pitching wedge. Just see if it's a different ball flight, see if they all get there. Yes, I've got to put a good swing on. If I don't, I'll let you and maybe have another go for the test. Perfect. On the green, a little bit pushed, but nice and high, what I expect from a pitching wedge. Now this is teed up just a midges more. Front edge, front that front portion of the green. I'd say that's gone a little bit less distance, not much. Great strike when I. Now we'll go for the I one. This could go anywhere. Well I never. I'll be honest, I hit that definitely higher on the face but it went just as high as the others. Let's go and check the distances of them, see if there's any decrease in the distance. Slight problem there, isn't there? They've all gone the same distance, and I'd say they all went the same height. I'll do it again with a seven iron. Otherwise, this video is totally and utter pointless. Right, we're gonna go again. 159 downwind, so I've got an eight iron. Seeing it low, what I would normally do, your medium, your high. Is this test a load of crap? I don't think it is, I think it's just more, I got a bit lucky there. Yeah, take that all day, good shot that, happy with that. No, this one weren't so bad on the last shot. Oh my god. I said dialed a swing in, but that is all over it. That's definitely a bit shorter than the first one. I can tell that from us. Oh, I can just tell. This should be fun now. I put two good swings on though. But that, to be fair, you can see yourself here. I've hit that, I actually, that's quite middle of the club there. I'll take that, cleaning my clubs, OCD. Right, come on. Try and hit this with the same swing. This just doesn't look right. Right, that's gone left, bit of me, but Definitely hit that high up without a shadow of a doubt. Hit it high. Is that her there? No, sorry about that. It's growing fast these days. Regain. Let's go down. Let's have a look at them. There's nothing in them, really. That was a better shot. That one's about eight yards further, but it's bounced in the rough there. This test could be pointless. It could be. But let me just sit down for a minute and go through some of it. Come on. Right, golf mates, after going through the footage, my conclusion is this. At first I thought it was pointless, this test. It's not, it's definitely not. Just been hitting some more balls now, and me having the tee a bit higher, I'm hitting the balls better. So in the ball test, pitching wedge and the eight iron in the end, the best strike off the bat was when I had it at a midges higher than I normally do. So I think, I've, I'm glad I've done this. I actually believe I've been teeing it down too short. And I'll back up this, I'll back up this, like when I play linked courses where they have tight fairways, or even our course in summer, you know, when the grass goes dormant and tight when it's really hot, 
I'm probably not a better iron player then. So I'm actually glad. So comment below, has it been useful? But definitely go and hit some balls and try your different T heights because it, you might be doing it wrong. I think this T height might help me. It might not. But if it does, happy days. If not, don't worry about it. But I think it, you know, you never know. You might be seeing it down too high or too low. Either way, give us a like because I've kind of managed to do this video and it's got some common sense in it in the end. And I'll see you soon, golf mates.